people uh, put, put them down and that now it's their time to put us down. what that proves because you are quick to write on our comments how could the Indians be Israelites when some of their tribes made the blacks as slaves we just read that in the Bible we just read that in the Bible you um, you just you hear the truth and you refuse to accept it because your elder wasn't the one that God opened his understanding to. That's called envy and jealousy. We bring to you the understanding of who Reuben is, of who Jude is. No, 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 no. We don't know who they is. Nobody know who they is. So how they gonna be sealed, brother? How they gonna be sealed? Does my presence frighten you, Elder? Or is it your guilt that prevents your allegiance? Your regiment cannot win my allegiance, Staka. Son of Nandi. Senzangakor Nagatja Masul, the true descendant of Suluga Malandel, has dictated his choice. Kill this man. He has insulted the king. He has separated themselves unto David into the hole to the wilderness, men of fight and men of war, fit for the battle. Fit for the battle. That could handle shield and buckler. That could handle shield and buckler. Whose faces were like the faces of lions. Whose faces were like the no. faces. If you will be that is, pray that the ancestors will preserve and protect our tribe as they guard the past as it was. Nothing will be as it was ever again. Now, kill him. Do you 
acknowledge me as your king? Yes. Yes, God. You are my Lord. My master. Fire <laughs> Is there anyone here who wishes to disapprove this decision? No one speaks. Waiting on. Wimshang on. Then, salute your king. When I went When I went When I went shall overcome him. See, he says in the spirit that Gad, a troop, shall overcome him. Troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Suggests that there is another side to the story. White poverty in South Africa has doubled since the non-racial election in 1994. Very Laura Fenter and her children, her sister's family, her mother Patronella Casimir lives here too, and they all survive on her $94 a month pension. Petronella believes there's only one reason why they are in this desperate state. It started, she says, when the black government came to power 15 years ago. In the past, we were, uh, to the past, yes, and there were white people uh, put, put them down and that now it's their time to put us down. It is a common feeling among white South Africans who have fallen on hard times. They are the victims, they say, of affirmative action, or what they call reverse discrimination. Virtually every person in this room feels that way. They all lived and worked during the apartheid era. They are left with meager pensions and come to this community center twice a week for a free meal. They don't talk openly, but ask a few questions and the bitterness rises. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. The black, sorry, it's true. 
is getting the job, the white people is staying behind. First the black and then the white and that is the truth. It is true that South Africa has its own version of affirmative action. It's called black economic empowerment and it was seen as vital in the new South Africa. Go to any one of the government ministries in Pretoria today and most of the civil servants are black. It used to be that most of the faces you'd see on the streets here were white. Under the apartheid system, if you were a white, the first part was himself. Now, let me go to this part. Read it again. And he provided the first part.